Hi guys, this is Arvind. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover uh, setting application tool idle timeout and uh, recycle timeout period using startup task in Windows Azure. So, in Agenda, uh, we will come to know what is startup task in Azure. Configuring startup task and its components, we'll talk about some uh, uh, IIS concept on uh, sh uh, shutting down app tool and also a demo. Uh, in the demo, I'm not going to the code by code, but uh, you, you can understand through the slide itself. So first of all, what is startup task? So you, you, when uh, Windows Azure SDK 1.3 or later, we have ability to launch a process called startup task. So as its name says, startup task. So to run some process in the uh, startup stage of the role. Before a role starts, and the role will be started after the completion of the task. So, once the startup task completed, and after the role will getting started. So, a role will not wait for the startup task to finish. Instead of it will launch after the uh, startup task is executed. Both the role and startup task would be independent. You can run a role as long as the startup task is running. So startup task components. So uh, when we create a cloud service uh, application in Visual Studio, uh, it mainly contains uh, two projects. Uh, one is web application, a uh, role project. Another one is uh, cloud service project. In the cloud service project, it contains uh, two main files. One is configuration files and uh, another is destination file. So configuration file is responsible for uh, configuration settings and the definition file is responsible for identifying roles and uh, endpoints and uh, uh, other properties as well also including the startup task so to add the startup task we need to include the following lines of code in the service definition file so as i mentioned before so service definition name my name service my service that means service name and xml schema for the service definition uh, and there is a in below that web role. So here we defined web role name and inside the web role. So inside web role and worker role, we can define the startup task just after defining the web role. So here you can write a startup tag tag and the task command line, startup command, execution context and task type simple. So, so this is the syntax for initializing startup task. So in the startup task, there are three main components on the command line, execution context, and uh, task type. So command line uh, is called to startup.cmd. So startup.cmd is a batch file where we have written our executable code. And execution context and task type will come to know in the later slide. Components. So execu execution context has two modes. One is elevated on are limited in the elevated mode the code or startup task will run in an administrator mode in the limited one so this will cause the startup task to run with the same privileges as the role does whatever the role web or worker role has the privileges that will be inherited to the startup task as well task type so task type there are three types one is simple background foreground so in the simple this task would need to be complete before the role starts. If the task is not completed, then the role will be stuck and wait until the task completion. So this is nothing but setting up priority for the execution of the startup task. So what happened if we set the simple, so startup task will be executed uh, and the uh, role, web or worker role will not be getting started till the startup task completed. So uh, this is nothing but setting up priority for execution of the startup task. The background as it name says, the worker role and uh, the start task will both run in independently. In the foreground, this is nothing but looks like background task, but the main thing, the main difference is like, we want the role instant to stay up as long as the task is running. 
So we can choose the foreground task. If you want the role instance to stay up as long as the task is running. So by default, the task type will be simple. If you're not mentioning anything in task type, then the startup task will consider uh, to run it as a sim simple mode. So do you know that IIS will shut down the site upon following event? So after being idle for 20 minutes, apps pool or IIS apps pool will shut down. So what will happen after 20 minutes when we send a new request? So it will take take some time to reinitialize the app pool and send back the uh, response from the server to the user. So there will be some delay. It, the application loads uh, very, uh, bit slowly. So at the same time, every nine, 29 hours, IAS will recycle. So again, the same effect, like it will take some time to load the application. There will be delay to load the application or delay in loading the application. So how can we avoid this one? So the first thing is using startup task. So before this uh, starting concept, so why do we need startup task? Uh, are we using in web apps or cloud services? Yeah, I can I can just explain in two lines. So uh, there are two uh, types of uh, uh, platform to deploy our web application. One is the uh, our application. One is uh, web apps. Another is cloud service or hosted service. So web app has already by default way of uh, uh, like uh, doing all this uh, setting at idle timeout zero and etc. Uh, in the cloud service, uh, in the portal we cannot set uh, like uh, idle timeout or I, I app, app pool uh, recycle timeout zero etc. So we have to execute it through the startup task. In web app we cannot use startup task or execute startup task but in case of cloud service we can execute startup task so what is the importance of startup task is it used for only in setting timeout or can we use for some other yes so uh, just imagine you have a web application or a workload that has a dependency and third party software or a framework to run the application so what happened when you deploy to the uh, cloud service Either you have to log into the VM where you hosted the application and install the third party framework or uh, like identity framework and anything, and you have to uh, run the application. So instead of doing that one, what we can do is we can uh, write simple code in the batch file and we can use it in the static task. So automatically uh, it will run the particular piece of code in the uh, virtual machine and it will install the uh, required software in that machine and help to run the application or resolve the issue in the virtual machine for running the application. So in this way you can use startup task. I, I will show how, how can we use the code in the batch file and how can we add it to the project and refer in a com uh, startup task. So first we will take uh, for timeout issue. So this is the code for uh, timeout issue. So here application default uh, application pool default dot process model dot idle timeout is zero. I'm setting here. And what we have to do is like just write this code in the notepad and save it as a batch file, uh, CMD file, and uh, just add that file into your project. Uh, whether uh, web application or workload and uh, uh, after adding this project set the uh, copy to output directory setting is copy always then when you compile the application the command file or batch file will copy to the output directory once you add that file to your application then include the file in the startup task so what i'm doing is my file is disable timeout.cmd and i'm setting here execution context is super elevated so i want to run it in administrator mode so i, I uh, selected execution context is equal to elevated 
and not selling uh, selecting task type because by default it will consider the same file. So when you run this command line or start of task, so this uh, this command file or batch file will execute on the uh, server or the VM. So this will resolve the uh, timeout issue for uh, IS group. So periodic reset, as I mentioned before, the worker process in the application pool will be recycled after a specified amount of time, that is 29 hours by default. So for as uh, the same thing, we, can, we have to repeat like write the code in the batch file, application pool defaults dot recycling period, periodic restart time to set to zero and add it to the uh, batch file and add it to the uh, project and refer that uh, path in the uh, startup task and execution context elevated and task mode simple. So both command lines, uh, command lines for idle timeout and uh, uh, periodic recycle time can be used in a single file and they can be executed at the time. So instead of doing like uh, adding two batch files and referring it in a startup task, just we can add both this code in the single file and refer in the uh, refer the single file in the command line of startup task. That would be helpful instead of writing multiple files, etc. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching this video.